Dick and Dana, I think it's fair to say that most commuters are absolutely dreading the disruptions, and they didn't even have to wait until Monday. There were big problems here at Penn tonight because of a broken switch the day after a derailment. Inside the New Jersey Transit waiting area Friday night, frustrated passengers faced half hour delays due to mechanical problems and, in some cases, complete cancellations. I mean, it's just falling apart. Who's responsible for this? What's a bigger disaster, uh, Amtrak or Jersey Transit? The problems have been par for the course at Penn Station these past few months, and many fear it's only a preview of what's to come starting Monday when Amtrak begins long overdue repairs to old infrastructure, shutting down up to five tracks for eight weeks. I might think about driving in. A crowd of commuters on the 438 Morris and Essex line also delayed, clamored down to the platform, knowing this will be their last so-called routine train ride until September. Passengers like Hannah Fruchtman of Short Hills anticipate anxiety and a lot of headaches. I'm in a back Advil, I think, with me every day. I'm going to forget about it. I don't want to think about it. NJ Transit is adding some very early morning trains that will still go to Penn, but after 7 a.m., the most popular lines will end in Hoboken. Travelers will be tasked with taking the path, a bus, or a ferry to New York, with the majority of riders dubbing the next two months as the summer of hell. First, I'd like to phrase it as the summer of renewal. Amtrak is reminding customers these painful times are necessary to fix the tracks that have created dangerous situations time and time again, including Thursday night's derailment in the Hudson River Tunnel, trapping 180 people inside the stuck train for two hours. It is pointed out by the derailments is the rapidity in which the infrastructure has declined, uh, has, has sped up. Nobody here is arguing with that point. It's been horrific across the board. At this moment, the good news we can report is that everything here on the NJ Transit side appears to be back on schedule. As for that commuter confusion come Monday morning, NJ Transit is suggesting if you haven't already, download their app. It will give you the complete list of your schedule changes. That's the latest live from Penn Station tonight. Jessica Layton, TV 1055. All right, Jessica, thank you so much.